Welcome back to Distract TV. I'm Stuart Bardin. I'm here with Betty Delight. How are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. Uh, Betty, um, last time I was just, we were obviously just saying, uh, last time I saw you, you didn't perform, but you performed tonight. Uh, and I know you and Chaz put on these shows. How difficult is it to kind of perform and manage? Does Chaz take total control of the management and you get to enjoy yourself? How does it work? I think it's a misconception that Chaz is the boss. <laughs> I think everyone knows that I'm really the boss. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, obviously. I think since I've started working on the event, I haven't really had the same amount of time to perform because it does, it sort of pulls you in two directions and whenever I'm going to perform, I'm always thinking in the back of my mind, like, well, I hope, I hope everything's okay, I hope everything's going well, but I had so much fun performing at the Playboy Club tonight. It was an absolute experience, so I'm really glad I managed to, to do it. Did you your performance go as planned? Was you totally happy with it? Because I know we're all our own worst critics. I mean, how, how was you happy with it? It was a brand new act. I debuted tonight. Um, and I was, oh yeah, you know what? The audience were just so, I could feel it in the room. The energy was just on fire. And like when the audience are up for it and ready, that helps you. You know, so I, could, I was feeding off the energy. So, yeah, I loved it. I really enjoyed it. Is that how you work then? Is that how most burlesque acts work? Feed off the energy and you kind of get more into it? Because I notice at the start of most acts, it starts off quite slow and tentative. And then halfway through, you kind of just go a bit crazy. <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah, I think that burlesque and cabaret in general, it really does rely a lot on the audience participation and I think that that's why people love it so much because they feel like it's not like going to the theatre where you're sitting in the dark and it's quiet and you're watching when you're at a burlesque show you're part of the show and you're actually cheering the performers on and the more you cheer them on you know it's like a relationship like they're given to you you're given to them so yeah that's why I think there's such a strong community in the burlesque scene yeah I know I, I, could, I could totally tell that tonight as well and there, there was only uh, four performers tonight as well but the energy was still there how long does it take to prepare a new act and then finally show it in front of an audience does it take a long time and where does the inspiration come from I think it's different for everyone. I think I can only speak for myself, but I can I can work for a year or two on an act. It really depends. I mean, some things you sort of get inspired and it all comes together really quickly. Other things you sort of you hear a song and you think, oh, that song would work, and then you see a costume piece and you think, well, that would work, and it it's a slow build. But I think everyone's inspired by different things. Usually I'm inspired by music, like I, love, I hear a track and I think that's it, like that's my song, you know, but you know, you can be inspired by anything, by a film, by a photograph, by, by a, a man on a bus. By a, nah, no, it's not so, I don't, darling, I don't take the bus. I, of course not, not dressed like that. <laughs> and there's not many people on the bus dressed like this. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's the great thing about burlesque is that you have complete creative control over your act. You can do whatever you want, like there is no limit. I always think like how big can I make this? How extravagant can it be? Because you can do whatever you want. I mean, that's the beauty of it. I was going to say, Betty, because every time I see you, you're obviously really glamorous and it's always at the burlesque festivals. You, you well, always look great when I see you. Well, you know, I was going to wear high heels tonight and kind of a really glamorous head. I wouldn't, what would you even call that? Yeah, uh, that that was my look tonight, well, but I just you didn't, no, I would have spoiled my hair. <laughs> no, but um, um, what I was going to say is, so what do you do? I mean, because obviously I see see you like this all the time. Right. In your kind of normal day to day life, what does Betty kind of look like? I mean, I mean, what's your hobbies outside? I mean, burlesque is my hobby, so I'm really I'm very blessed in the, in the way that. I can do my hobby and it, it pays the bills. I don't think that many people have that opportunity and I feel very blessed, but I don't I don't look like this every day. I don't I don't go to Really? I don't go to Tesco in my sequin <laughs> turban and my like, you know, ostrich feather cape, but I always like to have a little bit of glamour, just a little bit with me, whether it's red nails or a flower in my hair or just some sequins on my blouse or something because that's, you know, burlesque isn't, it's not just a hobby, like it's a lifestyle. For me, it's like a, it's a life choice. So, you know, any sort of little sliver of glamour that I can get in there, is, um, that's all good with me. Well, look good, feel good, right? That's, I think so. I think that there's a bit of a tendency for women to feel like they have to dumb themselves down in terms of glamour because they don't want to appear to be big headed or full of themselves. But I always find like if I have my nails done or I have some red lipstick on, I just feel like 
life is a bit easier, you know, life is just so much nicer if I feel good about myself. So are you saying I should go to work in, I don't know, a toga? I think that you should go to work in whatever you feel most comfortable in. That's what I always say. You know, I like to wear high heels, I like to have my nails done, I like to wear red lipstick, but that's not for everyone. And that's what burlesque is about. Like, not everyone has to be glamorous in the same way. There's not just one way to be sexy. You can be sexy with your intelligence, you can be sexy with your appearance, you can be sexy with, you know, your sense of humor. So, you know, whatever it, whatever it is for you, but I think it's just, it's important that people really try and hold on to a little bit of glamour, a little bit of fun every day. Just be yourself, kids. That's what Betty's saying. Betty, thank you so much for joining us. It was an absolute pleasure, always amazing. And thank you for putting on this show as well. Thank you. Thanks for coming. No problems.